Hey, how's it going? So recently I've been playing Nighttime Factory and I've been pulling a lot of gear out of the factory. Um, but I've been going with items cases and weapons cases, so I needed the best helmet I could wear. And currently, as it stands, it's the airframe helmet with the chops. You used to be able to wear a face shield with the night vision, but they have since removed that from the game, which is just so unfortunate because now it's a lot easier to get one tapped by scavs. But it makes sense. It's realistic. So the chops are only level 3, which almost every single rifle caliber in this game can penetrate, unless you're using some really, really crappy rounds, which no one's using in this game. So I decided to only test the macro off the pistol. So I'm using the worst ammo in this game, but the best ammo for that worst ammo, which is 9 by 18 PM PMM. So the first test we did was a trauma test, which was in order to see how many bullets it would take to penetrate the armor and or kill the player with blunt damage. So it took 11 hits, which I am okay with, mainly because I do know that the chops are only level 3 and only should protect me from pistol rounds, right? Now I know there are better calibers out there, I could have tried better pistol calibers, but I thought that the Makarov, or the Grok, th this ammo that I'm using with the Makarov is comparable to 9 by 19 most of the rounds there. Now so the next and final test we did was a hitbox test in order to make sure that the hitboxes were correct and seemingly functional. They actually worked better than intended, protecting most of my chin, or the the open portion of my chin, which probably should have been penetrated by the bullet. We, we did get snuck up on here by a freshie, but this is live training on labs. And my friend did fortunately put the GPNVGs back in this gamma container, like a good, like a good friend, but uh, we did get it back out and continue the testing. The only issue with these chops is that it does have a big fleshy open middle part of the face that no matter what you get shot by, you are going to die. But that's just the nature of the night visions anymore. You, you can't throw in a face shield with night vision anymore like you used to. That was fun, but it was probably a little bit too overpowered. It encouraged too much farming of the scavs. For example, I just farmed scavs for maybe a day, and I bought a weapons case and an items case because I wasn't making enough money just going off at night by myself. So when I bought those items cases, I almost made my profit back before dying uh, to a headshot by, I would assume, a player scav because all my items were taken out of the raid. So that is very unfortunately all that I had time to do tonight. I didn't originally want this to be a video, I just actually wanted to test it with the PM Makarov. And that ammo was comparable to others. Uh, pistol rounds so I thought it was a good enough test. Testing and experimentation with anything that has anything to do with Tarkov has been very dry on YouTube recently and I'd probably assume it's because Anton moved over to Twitch but I'm not exactly sure. Not many other people stepped up to the plate. Depending on how the future goes I might get into this more testing things in Tarkov area. I really like doing it. It's really fun. That was a clip of me spraying down my friend with War Mage ammo. He was wearing pretty much the best helmet in the game, or the second best, depending on how you look at it. We thought it was going to take a lot more, but uh, blunt damage ended up killing him before it penetrated. Well, before it ruined the helmet and then penetrated. This was, again, a really short video. I didn't necessarily want to make this video. Well, I did, but it just kind of fell into place. I guess that's the best way to say it. My last couple of videos have been doing really good. I think I've, I've uploaded two videos in the past four or five days, and... They've been doing really good and they're focused around Tarkov, so I'm going to have to be doing a lot more Tarkov content as of now. Anyways, this has been Citizen Z and I'll catch you in the next one. It's 17.